We made these discoveries early 1970s, but it was only until 1985 that this international agreement was agreed upon. We did it, and the ozone layer is recovering. This is a great success story, but it's, it really, it stands out for another reason, is that it's almost unique. <laughs> there was a problem that society had to respond to. We decided that we had to communicate this to society. But for people in government to respond, they often need to have a public opinion in their favor. It was really not customary for scientists to go out to try to convince the public that something had to be done. But we realized, if it is not us, then who? And if it's not now, when? Society has uh, many challenges today, but uh, among the most important ones is, is certainly climate change. So the problem of CFCs and the ozone layer was entirely a problem that uh, was figured out by scientists and solved by the rest of us through political work. But the issue is now is a political one. If we work together and work on all different fronts, not just you know, science and research, but with politics and economics, we can have a comprehensive solution to climate change. So we have to keep working very hard. Let's be optimistic, but rational. If we work together, we all end up having a better world. <laughs>